Yo, what is up everyone? Shri Kanase here and welcome back to another Shopify video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how I got a 6 to 10 times return on my ad spend just through SMS remarketing. Now I posted a lot of videos on my channel regarding regarding email remarketing or Facebook ads remarketing, even a lot of Google ad videos. But I figured it's finally time to speak about SMS remarketing. I feel like this is a really underused tool which a lot of Shopify store owners should be using because I mean if you sell something online there's a high chance that you're requiring that the customer enters their phone number while purchasing and not every single person that does enter their phone number ends up going through with the purchase so this is really where remarketing shines and as you can see on the screen I have my Shopify store open with the remarketing app dashboard and the main app that I use and I'll have the link for this app in the description is SMS Bump. Now I've personally used a lot of the other SMS marketing applications available for Shopify and what I personally found is that SMS Bump really does the job well and it is really easy to use and implement. With just a few clicks of the button I had already integrated this app onto my Shopify store and I was already spending most of the time making those those campaigns which would bring me the money. And personally I've only really started using SMS Bump since January of this year but as you can see already this app has generated around $493.34 just within the past two months. And I know this doesn't seem like a big amount because the majority of my sales do come from email marketing and for a large portion of the time for this Shopify store, I was not requiring that the customers input their phone numbers while purchasing. But I just recently changed that to required and as you can see, this application has been starting to give me good results. But what I want to show you guys is a return on investment for the automation. So currently I have only a few automations running. I've not really spent too much time on this app. The main automations which I highly recommend that you personally set up are the abandoned cart automation. But I currently I have three abandoned cart automations running and those are the only ones currently running for SMS marketing app. But so far for those automations themselves, I've spent around $45.57 to gain back about $493.34. There was another amount spent which is $27.74 but this was spent while I was testing the campaigns for the SMS bump. What this application does is it lets you send individual campaigns just like we would when doing email marketing to your customers. But the majority of the profit that I have personally found does come from the automations instead of the campaigns that you send. But the specific number for the ROAS when you calculate all the amount spent to the amount I earned is around 6.7. And if we exclude the spent text marketing meaning the individual campaign, the ROAS bumps up to about 10. And this is the deal when it comes with remarketing campaigns. Those are the most likely to bring you the highest amount of return on your investment just because they're targeting hot traffic. But now that we've gone over the dashboard for SMS bump, let's go ahead and go to the slideshow which I created to speak further regarding the application itself. So let's start off with the basics. What settings should you have on your Shopify store and also on the app itself? So the first thing that you need to do on your Shopify store after you download this app is to make sure that the phone number you mark as required and this can be found under settings and then under checkout. Just scroll all the way down until you see shipping address phone number but this is one mistake I made which I personally think was the reason why I did not earn as much money through SMS remarketing. I had it set at optional in the beginning but after a few weeks of running I decided to change it to required and there were a lot of big spikes in the revenue that came from SMS remarketing. But make sure that after you download the app that you change the, this option to required. And the second thing that you need to make sure that you check off is on the app itself. And you can find this under the settings when you download the app and go on the dashboard is to change the quiet hours from 11 p.m. at night to 5 a.m. in the morning Pacific time zone. Now this applies to you mostly if you, a lot of your customers are from the US. If you have a lot of customers from international countries then you want to change this specific time to match their timing. So basically this timing is for US only mostly if you, a lot of your customers are from the US. Again change this timing to match wherever a lot of your orders come from. But the timing should be to start at 11 p.m. at night and be quiet basically until 5 a.m. The main reason why we do this is so people don't 
end up marking your phone number as spam because this can lead to you reaching even less individuals compared to you were reaching before and the app itself may ban you from using their app if a lot of customers start to report you so make sure to do these two settings after you download the app so that you can get the maximum amount of return on your investment but once you do that you need to move forward into the specific campaigns what automated campaigns should you have for the app itself the first ones of course of which i recommend is the abandoned cart so for abandoned cart there are three campaigns that you should have running the first one should be the abandoned cart for one hour after meaning one hour after someone abandons their cart, your first message should be sent. Now there's one thing that you need to keep in mind for this first message. It is, do not send them a coupon in the first message right away. You do not want your store to appear as cheap or just some store that offers deal after deal instead of anything really valuable. So in order to kind of make the customer think that you're much more valuable than just those deal stores, you want to refrain from sending a coupon in the first message. Simply remind them that they forgot something in their cart. And by the way, I'll have more examples regarding these campaigns in the next slide. But just for these awesome guidelines, which I have for these SMS campaigns, drop a like down below if you're liking this video so far. But going back to the abandoned cart campaigns, remember to send the first one after one hour, but do not include any coupon. The second one should be sent about four hours after the customer has abandoned their cart. This is when you start introducing the coupon. You want to start off the text by simply reminding them that they forgot something, but end it by introducing the coupon. Now, I normally like to start with a 5% off coupon, sometimes 10% off, but usually I don't go over that for the second message. One important thing you want to do in this message is also to add a link that takes them back to their cart. Normally, SMS Bump will have that already preset for you, so you don't have to worry about that. But once you've done that, the third campaign should be sent a day after they abandon their cart. And this is where you start introducing those bigger coupons. 10% off, 20% off, 25% off. This depends on your profit margins and whether you'll be profitable after offering them this coupon. Remember, there's no point really in offering them a coupon if you're not going to profit from the sale. A lot of people think that you should basically just offer coupon after coupon, even if that means not going in a profit. And this really applies after a person has not purchased something from your website for more than 30 days. But in the beginning, you don't wanna go overboard with the coupons, keep it nice and low so that you get profit from the sale as well. But introduce a 10% off to 20% off, those are the big magic numbers which really work for me. But these are the three general setups that you need to have for the abandoned cart campaign. Normally, I don't like to go above three campaigns for abandoned cart just because it gets a little unnecessary and you're going to have a higher chance of the customer marking you as spam which you don't want but after you've set those up the second campaign that you need to set up is the customer win back campaign now this is when a customer has not purchased from you for the past 30 days or more and the reason why I've written three to five is because you can have three to five, sometimes even more of these win back campaigns. So the first campaign should generally start after 30 days and you should have an interval of seven days between each campaign that you send for the win back campaign. So the first one should be sent 30 days after the second one, 37 days after and so on. But I always like to start off my first campaign by just sending them a reminder that they haven't been on our website for a long time. You know, if there's a sale going on, you can remind them about that. But after you send the first campaign, that's when you really start hammering them with those coupons. And this is where you can go really broad. I start off my win back campaigns at 25% off and sometimes go even up to 50% off. The main reason why I do this is because I want to get the customer back on my website again to basically restart their life cycle. Every single customer has a life cycle and usually after 30 days have passed, they're at the end of the life cycle. You want to restart that and the best way to do that is by giving them a big offer which they really can't say no to. And when you do successfully restart the life cycle, you make it much more likely for the customer to come back and purchase over and over again because you just put your website into the back of their head just through this marketing campaign. But remember to increase the coupons every time as the interval goes on. But let's go to our specific examples to show you guys exactly how you should be writing these up. So the first one, abandoned cart campaign, this is how I normally write out my campaign. So I start off with the simple introduction like, hey, and then first name, and then we continue with, looks like you may have forgotten to finish checking out. But don't worry, we have saved everything just for you. And the abandoned checkout URL is at the very end. And there's a message that's usually added automatically at the end, which is stop 
and then a number followed by two opt out. This is important that you do not delete this because you'll be immediately marked as spam and, and the app may mark you as spam. So leave that in there and then we proceed to abandoned cart number two. The overall layout is somewhat similar to the first layout, but we again start with hey again, the items in your cart are still missing you. And this is where we introduce the coupon. This time I introduced a 10% off coupon and then I followed it by a tagline. And in this case, I wrote surprise your lover because the product I was selling was something that a husband could buy for their wife or vice versa. Ended off by a call to action, which is click here, followed by the abandoned checkout URL. So by now you guys get the point. These are the general layouts that you should be using for your abandoned cart flows. Nothing too fancy. What I've personally found is simple works best. But the second campaign you should be setting up is the winback campaign. And the general layout I have for winback is something like this. It starts out with the word that could introduce a lot of feelings for the person. So I start off with, whoa, it's been forever since we've seen you at your shop. We're having a big sale right now and this sale could relate to a specific season. So if Christmas is coming up or if Thanksgiving is coming up, whatever the season is around the corner, you want to add that as a sale on your store and include that in the win back campaign. But you say something like, we're having a big sale right now and would love for you to join. And this is followed by the call to action, which is come back with the link. And, and this allowed is usually for my first win back campaign and going onwards, it starts off with site name followed by hi and then their name and then we notice it has been a while since your last order. And this is where we introduce the coupons. This time I introduced a 5% off coupon but I simply say get percent off on your next purchase when shopping from our website. And then you include your site URL at the end. But these are the general layouts for the campaigns and these two campaigns are something that you must have for the app when you start off. Once you get started getting good results with these campaigns, you can then go ahead and create more campaigns. The only issue with that is the app does charge you per SMS sent. So other campaigns such as shipping confirmation campaigns or delivery confirmation campaigns, those could add up to the balance really quickly. So that depends on your budget. But I highly recommend you set up at least these two to get things going. But if you want to learn more of these specific techniques regarding marketing or specifically Facebook ads, I actually have a course on Facebook ads. The link is in the description and it is filled with a lot of these key pointers regarding marketing. And I have had a lot of people find a lot of success with the course as well. So if you're looking to take your Facebook ads game to the next level, do check out the course. The link is again in the description, but don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed and I'll see you guys next time.